So what does percent mean? Percent means out of 100 or for every 100. So for example, if there are 100 chairs and 57 of them are green, then 57% of those chairs are green. So let's break down percent to per and cent. So per means for each one, like two cookies per person, or three frisbees per dog. All right, and cent goes back to Latin, which is an ancient language spoken in Italy, and the Latin word was centum, which means a hundred. So for example, there are some modern words that are based on the Latin centum. So cent, like in America, a hundred cents makes a dollar, not much money. Century is a period of a hundred years. Centurion, that was a military officer of ancient Roman times in command of about 100 soldiers. Centenarian, that's a person who's a hundred years old or older. Centennial, that's a celebration of the 100th anniversary of something, pretty cool. A centimeter, a centimeter is a measure of length that's less than an inch long, and there are a hundred centimeters that make up one meter. All right, so percent means for every hundred or out of a hundred. So for example, let's say a person shoots a hundred shots at the basket from the free throw line, and they make 85 of them, all right? So 85 out of 100 is 85 percent. Now another player shoots 100 shots at the basket from the free throw line, and they only make 12 of them. A little bit disappointing. 12 out of 100 is 12 percent. All right, so percent means out of 100. But how can we, we figure it out if the percent, if let's say a player doesn't shoot the ball 100 times, it's not out of 100. So let's make up an example of a player who only shoots 50 shots at the basket from the free throw line, and let's say they make 30 of them. All right, so they make 30 out of 50. Okay, but that's 30 out of 50. It's not out of 100. So 30 out of 50 is not 30% because it's not out of 100. But let's imagine that the player continues to get 30 out of 50 all the time each basketball season. So it would look like this. So after two seasons, the player would have made 100 free throw attempts, and they would have made 60 of them. So that's 60 out of 100, which is 60%. So if a player makes 30 out of 50 baskets, we say they made 60% of their shots. All right? Here, here's a visual. Now, what if there are 10 apples in a basket and one of them is red? What percent of the apples in the basket are red? So here's one out of 10, and now here's one out of 10 continued over and over. So you can see one out of 10 is 10%, 10 out of 100. If you kept doing one out of 10, you get 10 out of 100. Let's look at some other examples like this of finding a percent. Here's three out of 20, and now if we repeat this five times, we're gonna get this. Okay, so now it's 15 out of 100, or 15%. So three out of 20 equals 15%. All right, and here's seven out of 25, and if we repeat this four times, we're gonna get this. So now it's 28 out of 100, or 28%. So 7 out of 25 is equal to 28%. Okay, here's 9 out of 50, all right? And if we repeat this two times, we get this. So now it's 18 out of 100, or 18%. All right, so 9 out of 50 equals 18%. And here's another. Here's 3 out of 4. All right, if we repeat this 25 times, we get this. So now the three out of four has turned into 75 out of 100 or 75%. So three out of four would equal 75%. All right, here's another, here's four out of five. 
And if we repeat this 20 times, we get this. So 4 out of 5 over and over becomes 80 out of 100 or 80%. So 4 out of 5 equals 80%. All right, so percent means out of 100 or for every 100. All right, so suppose there are 300 marbles and 7% and of them are blue, let's say. So percent means out of 100, so that means 7 out of every 100 marbles are blue. And we could visualize it like this. So you could think of 7% of 300 like this. 7 out of 100 plus 7 out of, 7 out of 100 plus 7 out of 100. So that makes 21 out of the 300. So 7% of 300 is 21. Okay, let's look at another example. Suppose there are 200 marbles and 5% of them are green. Okay, percent means out of 100. So 5 out of every 100 marbles are green. And we can visualize it like this. Okay, so you could think of 5% of 200 like this, like 5 out of 100 plus 5 out of 100. So that equals 10 out of 200. So we could say 5% of 200 is 10. Okay, here's one more example. Suppose there are 400 marbles and 3% of them are red, because red's a good color. So again, percent means out of 100, so that means that 3 out of every 100 marbles are red, and we could visualize it like this. Okay, so you could think of 3% of 400 like this. 3 out of 100 plus 3 out of 100 plus 3 out of 100 plus 3 out of 100. So that equals 12 out of the 400. So 3% of 400 is 12. So there you go.